Yeah, I don't know how I let you talk me into this. Every Smallville High student needs to complete 30 hours of community service. Yeah. Well, we could have served our community by lifeguarding the girls' swim class at the Y. Instead of hanging out with the denture crowd, I mean, what's the attraction? Hi, Clark. Pete. Lana, I didn't know you were volunteering here. Yeah, right. For a couple of weeks now. Are you part of the companion program? Yeah, I'm reading with Cassandra. She's an interesting woman. Some of the nurses say she can see the future. What's wrong? Someone close to you is going to die. Very soon. When I was at the retirement center, I met this old blind lady. I know this sounds crazy, but she can see the future. What did she tell you? That someone very close to me will die soon. Uh, listen, Clark, you can't let some old lady scare you with a half-baked prediction. I mean, she probably just does it to scare the nurses anyway. She told Pete he'd be walking home. Seconds later, he realized that he locked his keys in his car. No one can tell the future. What if she can? What if she told me because there's something I can do about it? Then she should have given you a little more information, like name, time, and place. Yeah, and even if she can predict the future, there's nothing she can do to control it. Nobody can. The other night she left in a hurry. Let me see. I, uh, <clears throat> I hoped you'd come back. I'm sorry. You saw that, whatever it was. I always see them. The question is, how did you? I don't know. Wasn't I supposed to? Nobody ever has. Why me? Because we both know you're not like other people. Sure I am. No, Clark. I've seen you before we ever met. More than once, I've touched people and I've seen such pain and despair. And but then you were there and the pain was gone. I think that's your destiny, Clark. To help people, to save them from fear and darkness. How? Well, that's for you to figure out. You can fear the future, or you can embrace it. The choice is yours. How am I supposed to help them if I don't know who they are? I'm not a radio. I don't pick up continuous transmissions. Uh, that's all I have. I'll figure it out. Clark, your secret's safe with me. I'm not sure how I feel about Cassandra. Mom, she's my friend. She told me my destiny was to help people. You don't think she knows your secret? I don't think you should see her anymore. If I hadn't gone to see her, Zoe would be dead. Your destiny may be to protect people, but ours is to protect you, and that's got to come first, OK? I'm sorry, Sen. She's gone. She saw it. Saw what? Her future. <laughs>